Nick Saban misspoke, and plain and simple. There's an honor amongst thieves. If you have a problem with the coach, what you do, you pick up the phone, you make a phone call and say, I got a problem here. Look, name, image, and likeness. You're saying Jimbo should have done that. No, I think that Nick okay, Saban, if he had a problem. Okay. Like, look, name, image, and likeness has become basically, uh, it's no longer name, image, it's pay for play. Let's face it. I mean, that's just what it is. It's become a recruiting inducement. You got a problem with Jimbo Fisher and how he's conducting this business? Pick up the phone. But it's legal now in a lot of ways because of these collectives. On the other hand, Jimbo Fisher, same thing. You got a problem with Nick Saban? Pick up the phone. Like, there used to be, and this is so to speak, you know, I'm, 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 I'm not saying literally, but honor amongst thieves. If you had a problem with a guy, honor amongst thieves, pick up the phone, <laughs> you address it in that moment in time. But you know what? Both of these guys overstepped. Nick Saban was trying to say this. He's talking to his boosters in Birmingham. Mm -hmm. We're behind the curve right now. We've got to get up to speed. If we're going to continue to compete and get the best recruits and the best players, we've got to pick up our collective. We've got to raise more money to go out and pursue the best players, whether it's return on investment, taking care of the players that are in your program, or go out and recruit the next generation of Alabama players. He misspoke, and I think he took it back because you can't mention any other, anyone's name. You could say, this is what's going on out, out there right now. All right, and this is what we have are dealing with in terms of recruiting. But to mention someone else's name to me, he crossed the line. And I think that obviously Jimbo crossed the line as well. Okay, I want to talk about that more. But on Thursday, I want to talk about what you're saying with Saban's response. He followed up on his comments and tried clarifying. Take a listen. I, I really didn't mean to single anybody out. Uh, I apologize for that. But, um, you know, it's the whole system. And is, is this a sustainable system and is it really you know good for college football i think name image and likeness is good for college football you know i think the focus now is getting a little bit more on how much money i can make while i'm playing and where can i make it and i'm not sure that's that's really good um systematically for any of us Okay, so the headline for me in that and obviously he's explaining his position is i didn't mean to single anybody out and I've just found it interesting that he didn't say along with that, and I'm sorry to Deion Sanders, and I'm sorry to Jimbo Fisher, which really stood out to me. Because if you're saying this is what I'm trying to say, but you don't address it directly, then how can you expect Jimbo Fisher not to hit back because his program has been insulted? His program has been insulted, but I, I, I think it's one of those things, once an assistant, always assist. And I think that... Nick Saban looks like his, at his former coaches, still as his assistants. Mm. That's just the way it is. Mm. Once an assistant, always an assistant. Paul, weigh in. Uh, it was a pathetic response. Uh, nobody, nobody in their right mind should take that apology seriously because it was a typical, if I offended anyone, I'm sorry. That's not sincere because I don't think Nick Saban was being sincere. Many people have heard Nick Saban call out Jimbo Fisher in private. So that public apology, I didn't mean to say it, uh, just doesn't hold the smell test. I'm sorry, Ryan. Okay. Heather, what do you think? Well, I spoke to people yesterday who said Nick Saban is too smart to say something without being calculated about it. Mm. So does he feel threatened? Ross Bjork at Texas A&M said that to me. Why did he do that? I don't know why. <laughs> does he feel threatened? Is it bigger than Texas A&M? Is it a threat from name, image, and likeness and not being able to catch up with that game that's going on right now? I don't know the answer to that, but people I spoke to certainly raised that question. Make no mistake, this is not over, <laughs> not by a long shot. SEC and I wonder Media what the next Day, shooting baby. drop will be. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. And by the way, Deion Sanders not happy about it either, but saying he's trying to basically use us to sell to his booster, something you guys have been touching on as well. All right. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.